is first alert weather. We've been talking so much about the air quality, but we're also talking about some folks got rain, some didn't, and we all kind of need it. Oh, we all do need the rain, and uh, with the latest drop map just came out a little earlier today, and we saw some improvement for some of us. I'm going to show you here on the map uh, what spots are doing better, and it's mainly on the Kansas side, also into the Northland, so now we're seeing more of the yellow on the map from St. Joseph through Platte City, Parkville, Latha, Paola, and Lawrence. We picked up some of that heavier rain late last week that wasn't included on last week's drought map, but that's part of this week's drought map. So again, Kansas side of our immediate area looking for the most part. OK, certainly in a better situation than we were a week ago on the Missouri side, though, still seeing that extreme drought. So we're monitoring those conditions, especially along 50 Highway near Warrensburg and Sedalia. Uh, so you definitely need some rain. I have some good news for you. We are monitoring a high likelihood of seeing some decent rain Saturday into Sunday, and there's a potential between maybe about a half inch to upwards of an inch and a half of rain. Doesn't end the drought, but it would be a good step in the right direction for some drought relief. Currently, we are dry. Looking over the city, you can see kind of hazy out there still. We're at 77 degrees for our current temperature and east wind at 13 miles an hour, so it is still blowing in some of that Canadian smoke. And that's what we're seeing in the atmosphere, seeing in our, our city view camera there, and that's why we have that yellow air quality for today. 73 degrees our temperature in Liberty, 79 for Olathe, 81 degrees in Lawrence, so close to where we should be for this time of year. Patchy clouds, there have been just a little bit of rain here and there, but in general, it's been a dry day for most of us. Going through the evening, very slim chance of an isolated shower, I think mainly just those patchy clouds. Lower 80s, upper 70s, eventually cooling into those low 70s by our late evening hours. Tomorrow morning, I think it'll be a great start to our day. Upper 50s and lower 60s, a mild and dry start to our Friday. 12 hour forecast from there shows temperatures warming into the lower 80s. I think we'll see more sunshine tomorrow, a southeast wind. So a nice day on your Friday. Your weekend forecast, though, it shows an impact day for Saturday. Showers and thunderstorms off and on 82 for high. So I think Saturday you want to have that KBC 9 News app so you can check radar if you're away from the TV. Lingering chances of rain early Sunday and check out that high 75 degrees. So it turns cooler. 77 on Monday, lots of sunshine, that morning low of 54. I'm a big fan of that. 83 on Tuesday, a chance of storms into Wednesday as well. Then we do heat right back up to near 90 by late next week.